I like to thank a lot uh, Dr. Ella Hagi uh, that uh, for the amazing uh, efforts she gave for, to realize this uh, Congress. But also, I like to thank her because I know her since many years before she came to the BMB company. And I like to thank her because she helped me many times in my life before. So, Ele, thank you very much for all the times. And I must say, I must say that the strong relationships have also big fights. And <laughs> I fight with her because she wants to see my lecture before, but I didn't want to see these pictures. So, I promise don't make you angry, when, especially when you have a gun in your hand. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do promises that you can't keep. Okay. <laughs> you never know. So, <laughs> I know uh, Banzi family almost uh, 10 years, and uh, I really like this company because it's a healthy family company with very strong relationships. And, uh, of course, uh, they said yesterday that Claudio is the, the captain, but uh, I believe that uh, Anna is the head, okay? But you know, every family, every big family has always a bad guy. And in this family, the bad guy has a name, Simone. is a bad guy. When I'm going around the world and they ask me, if I know, you know, I meet people from BNB and they ask me, what is your opinion about uh, Simone? I said, what? He's a thief. And everybody's looking at me like crazy. And said to me, why? What did he do? He steal my right hand, I said. And yeah, they thought that I'm ready to go in the mental clinic because I have my red hand. But my right hand, no, it is, was here, Maria. Maria was my right hand, and he came, he came in my clinic and still Maria. You look here, he looks in Maria, doesn't look the photo. It's football. <laughs> so, I'm really uh, proud of you guys, and I really wish you all the best, really, and I'm really happy that have been involved in the, uh, realize the new generation of BNB, uh, Banzi uh, uh, family with the small Athena. Okay, uh, all my best wishes to you. <laughs> so, so, going back to the lecture, uh, I like to say that I represent Wagro. WAGRO is the World Academy of Growth Factors and Stem Cells in the industry, and um, is active in many countries and uh, offers uh, master degrees, university master degrees, and uh, clinical education. If someone wants to learn to place implants, can do it on live patients. So, master degrees and really clinical education. And you are welcome to participate in our master programs. So, our philosophy, Wagro philosophy, is to create more with less and to swimming in blue oceans. Swimming in blue oceans means um, uh, the red oceans are the bloody oceans with a lot of competition. The blue oceans are the oceans without any competition. And sometimes, because we do things that the other dentists are not doing, we feel that we are sailing in a blue ocean by ourselves. So, create more with less today. Have better results. We simplify the procedures, minimal invasive surgery, cell, uh, cell uh, biology guided therapies, less complica complications, less time needed, less cost. And this is our philosophy. So we can do minimal invasive implantology, 
We can use cell therapies for, to confront periplantitis. And you see here the pus. You see here the pus. Uh, aggressive periplantitis. And we can resolve with cell therapies techniques these problems. Also, we can regenerate the bone around the tooth. You see this tooth is ready to take it out, do an extraction, okay? But with cell therapy techniques, we can regenerate the bone around the tooth. We can place implants when we have uh, a disease or infection, a tooth infection, okay? We can place tooth also in these kind of cases. And do some other things. This photo is from our first congress in Athens, Greece, where a lot of people, very famous people, came to speak, like Song, Sukrun, Rabosko, many, many uh, big names came to speak. And this photo is from last year, our congress in India, with 5,000 participants and 500 uh, volunteer people. It was a, really an amazing congress, unique congress in India. So, how many of you doesn't know what this X-ray shows? Please raise your hand. How many knows what this is? How many knows this? Nobody? Okay, you too. I know you do. How, who else? How, okay, raise your hands. How many of you are doing implants? How many of you are doing implants? Only a few. And you don't know what is this? These are our implants from corals, implants from corals. The first implants we saw many, many years ago, 1,300 years ago, that has been uh, placed in a 20-year-old uh, young lady, girl from Maya girl, and they are still also integrated in Harvard Museum. They are in medical school of Harvard Museum, and they are still also integrated after after 1,300 years. And they are made flapless with, from corals. So today we can place flapless, uh, completely fla flapless uh, implants. And the growth factors and the stem cells help us because we can create a bioactive membrane around the implant full of uh, proteins, healing and regenerative proteins. So we have better and faster also integration. And Novocore, what is Novocore? Novocore is a bone graft that's coming from corals, like the first implants. That's why I like this, this bone graft. And I mix it, we can mix it with growth factors or stem cells, make it sticky, and also give a lot of strength to this bone graft material. And use it in many cases of uh, regeneration. But today, nowadays, we like it or we don't like it. The GBR game has been changed, especially after the Nobel Prize of Medicine in 2012. You can go and see what is this. So today, and it's already in the market, we can use stem cells. Okay, we can use stem cells, embryonic stem cells or autologous stem cells are already in the market in, for dentistry. So we can mix Novocore together with uh, growth factors and stem cells and do something very big. So we go to see some of these cases. We can confront also cases like this one, the complex, uh, co um, challenging case like this. <laughs> in one session, all, is one, all the cases you will see will be in one stage surgery, in one session, in one, uh, one time surgery. Okay? We can use a laser for decontamination. <coughs> we can use a, a bioactive membrane around the implant. Place the, our implants also if we have no, uh, we have bone loss in many places. Use 
Novocore, use growth factors, you uh, collagen membranes, and place the implants in one session. And when we have more cases, like this one, that we can place and do immediate loading in one session. And I can show you this case here, that in the upper and low jaw, we place 15 implants and we do immediate loading in three hours. Always we uh, laser for decontamination, minimal invasive uh, uh, implantology, EVO implants, biological abutments, and immediate loading with a temporary uh, bridge. But sometimes there are more challenging cases. Cases like this one, that we want to place implants, but always create more with less, no big surgeries, and also cases like that, that has to do with sinus floor elevation, because we know that very often the posterior area of the maxilla, there are not enough bone to place implants, so we have to do to go through the sinus floor elevation procedures. And there are two basic methods and techniques, the lateral window and the crystal approach, and thousands of other similar methods and techniques. And all these they have a common point to success, no perforation of the sinus membrane. Okay, sinus floor elevation, if you want to have success, you must not perforate the sinus membrane. But we know that this is the lateral window. Maybe we have many complications. And the more often complication is the uh, membrane perforation. When we have enough bone for initial stability, we have enough bone for initial stability, we can use the summer osteotomy, the crestal approach. Maybe we cannot uh, put so long implant, but we can use it. And BMB give us instruments for that, give us the the implant, the friendly apis implant, small implants, they give us all these very nice instruments, the competitors, condensers, and we can do a crestal approach or summer osteotomy by using these instruments. But if you have a case like this, one millimeter of bone or two millimeters of bone, what are you doing? If you have any solution, only lateral window. But we are not talking about lateral window now. Someone during my uh, lectures asked me, but how is this BMB plan here? It's flying into the sinus. No, it's not flying into the sinus. It has been placed there by the IPG dead technique. If you go on internet, you can find everything. IPG dead, okay? So, We can use something else and do both sinus in one session by using the IPG dead technique. This has been our first case in 2006. Okay, I placed this implant and I screw, I screw, and the implant went up and up, and after I say, let's say, take an X-ray, and I saw this, and I said, oh my God, what happens now here? The whole implant is into the sinus. I don't know if you have ever seen an X-ray like that. The whole implant is into the sinus. So what I have to do? And uh, I spoke with the uh, patient, and we decide not to move until a year pass. So we were waiting a year. And two years later, in the other side, I decide to place a huge implant. But this was my big mistake. It's a 10 millimeter implant. This has been my big mistake. So I had to take it out later. And uh, place a BMB implant with the same technique. BMB implant with the IPG technique. And this case, 14 years later, you can see 14 years later, this case, with panoramic and CBCT. 
the implants are still there, we follow this patient, and we know very well that everything works. So IPG death is not a sinus floor elevation technique. It has nothing to do with sinus floor elevation because we don't elevate the membrane. And 10 complicated sinus approach to symbols. We use stem cells and aggressive threads implants. So a case like that, because this is also one of our old cases. In this case, we place uh, seven implants. And you see the biomaterial around here with a special technique. At that time, we were afraid to place the implants under bone. We were afraid. And so the implants are not in the ball level or under the ball level. We did this case, and after, I'd like to show you some details of the CBCT before four months and eight months. In eight months, we have almost 10 millimeters of bone regeneration into the sinus. And we were wondering, what is going on here? Is it really bone? So we did biopsy with the University of Brescia, and we find out that it's bone. And after, we lose this lady. And nine years after, she called us and say, I have problems with the implants. So our mind went that maybe lose some implants, something happens. But the only thing that happens is that the bridge get off. And she came to, to put back the bridge in position. Nothing happens with the implants. So now 10 years post-op are still there and working. <coughs> Let's see another case with three millimeters of bone for initial stability. We have three millimeters of bone for initial stability. And you see in two months and in four months full OSHA integration. We have only three millimeters of bone for initial stability. And you can see if and four months full OSHA integration. See another case. You see here there. Look here. Okay. You can place also here we have problems. We can place the implants. You can see another case here. We place a, a BMB implant, and this is a titanium mesh, small titanium mesh of BMB. One or two millimeters of bone. IPG dead technique. You see another case, and you see the difference in, with the CBCT uh, details. Look at this case here. Infection, apis, cyst, no problem. IPG dead, and we place the implants. Two BMB implants here, another implant here. Also, in this kind of cases, both sinus in one session. We were waiting and de doing uh, clinical research eight years without anyone knows anything about. And after eight years, our first publication has been cover page of the Journal of Implant and Advanced Clinical Dentistry because it was something very different from everything we know until now. So first we would like to be sure and we didn't like someone else to take it. So IPG dead technique is an automatic implant placement without sinus floor elevation by using cell, cell therapy te uh, technology and with intentional perforation of the Snyder membrane. With intentional perforation of the sinus membrane. We have now, uh, since last year, we did a very big research. 2,350 implants with IPC tech technique, 17 dentists from seven countries, 912 patients. And these results will come out maybe next, or the, uh, maybe, maybe next year. And also, we're looking at the difference between different kinds of implants that we have used the different doctors in this uh, technique. It's a very big research that I hope to be ready next year. 
We have research about the stem cells, but we can see the stem cells now. New technology in dentistry. And also, we have special membranes, very, very strong membranes. They can gain a weight of 380 grams, these membranes. And the implant weight is only 0.5 of a gram. So these very strong membranes go inside and give the initial stability to the implant. These special membranes that we can have it in 14 minutes from the blood of the patient. And we can use it to give the first, the initial stability. And we know that this strong strength is coming from the glycoproteins of this membrane. And also, if we have not born at all, we use the BMB uh, mess, small titanium mess, for better initial stability. You see here in this case, no bone, take out it, uh, do extraction, and place immediately an uh, implant with the uh, BMB titanium mess. Also, we can use this like butterfly or round titanium uh, BMB mess to give the initial stability of the implants. But there are more. If you have cases like that, no bone infection, no bone infection, tooth, what do you think? Or like this here, what do you think? You can place implants immediately? What do you think? Okay, with the IPG technique, you can place. You can place with the condensers of BMB, growth factors, stem cells, EVO, aggressive threats, implants, and titanium mess, BMB titanium mess. So you can have replace the implants, and you can do GBR upper and under the previous cnidaria membrane. Okay? And here you can see the titanium mesh. Here you can see the titanium mesh that gives the stability of the implant. Also, in these kind of cases, extreme cases, you can place immediately implant. What do you think about this case? What do you have here? Cyst, infection, no bone at all. Okay? What do you think? You can place implants here directly? I know that is difficult to answer. Of course, you cannot, but with the IPG death technique, we create something new now. We have the open IPG death. We open the sinus. We take out the membrane. We don't, don't care about the membrane. We place gro uh, growth factors, stem cells, and immediately the implants with cell technology with cell therapy technology, with stem cells. It's something new in dentistry. I know that the most of you haven't heard this before. But everything changed now. So you can place implants immediately. And I'd like to show you one thing. A friend of mine placed a, a, a BMB implant, an EVO implant, with, uh, in the, with the IPG technique, but what he uh, he, what he did. He thought, I don't know why, before placed the cover screw to put in the betadine solution. So the betadine solution act like a, um, destroyed everything inside and, and glue everything. So was not able to open the, the implant. And we have to take it out. After four months, you can see the also integration of this BMB EVO implant with the IPG technique. Okay, you can see the osteointegration, and we will have also next year the histology results. But see this IPG technique uh, implant, and you see how good uh, osteointegration has. So with this technique, with, with the IPG technique, we don't care about, uh, we don't care how much bone we have. We don't care if we perforate the membrane. No pain, edema, or hematoma is minimal invasive. Less graft material are needed. Reduced chair time. 
and um, it has short learned uh, curve and minimal cost. And um, due to this technique, we respect the soft tissues of the patients and uh, improve his life uh, post-op. Of course, you have to be experienced. So, you can come and uh, join us in the clinical uh, education. Regarding the low jaw, <coughs> when you have a case like this, <coughs> always a philosophy, <coughs> create more with less. What do you do? Now we know that, um, we know that BMB has short implants, but we are not the space. We know that now there is this technology, but this case is a 2001 case, many years ago, okay? So maybe we can use this technology, but at that time we haven't. So we use <coughs> a special BMB implant. It's not in the market yet. A special BME implant together with a biological abutment with the equator. And last month we take new x-rays, make a, a bar and denture. So almost 10 years later, the implants are still there. And this was a, a young woman at that time, 45 years with no teeth. And now is very happy. And uh, how he looks 10 years after. I think maybe this product will be next year in the market. So I like to wish my best, all my best to the uh, Banzi family, to the BNB company, and I'd like to thank you for your attention. So I would like to thank Johannes for uh, this uh, wonderful presentation and we came all on stage also Maria the, the, my wife that I stole from his clinic <laughs> so thank you and we hope to see We want to present because he's responsible of the union between Simone <laughs> and my nephew. <laughs> and this is very important. Th thanks to Johannes, I met my wife and I met, and I have a small baby. So <laughs> thank you, Johannes. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank, you. Yeah. thank you very okay. much. Okay. <laughs> thank you.